Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Smith with VSI by Boss Snowplow, and today we're going to give you an in-depth overview of our Legacy de-icing spray systems. The first and one of the most important features of our Legacy spray systems is our three-lane pile driver spray boom. This is designed very carefully to be very functional, but also very durable. As you can see, it's hitch mounted. It goes into a standard receiver hitch on almost any truck. And it has many different nozzle configurations to match any size site or any application rate. So in the center, we have both a stream and a fan pattern option. And on the outsides, we have three different options. Again, depending on your speed or your application rate, it gives you a lot of flexibility to get the right pattern of your spray on the outside boom nozzles. We've also designed this boom to be incredibly durable. One thing that we noticed on the market is that a lot of booms have very sensitive nozzle assemblies that when they're backed into, let's say, a pile of snow or into an obstacle, um, God forbid we back into a light pole or something like that, it's going to break, it's not going to be functional. Your night may be ruined and you have to start over. With our system, with the wedge-shaped design, it will cut into snow piles. And if you happen to back into a solid obstacle and let's say you bend the boom shroud, the system is made to continue working for the night so that you can fix it the next day and have it be ready to go again. So we have our 305 Legacy Sprayer in the back of this short bed truck. As you saw, one nice thing about the 305 Legacy Sprayer is that it does fit in the bed of a short bed truck with the tailgate closed. It's a nice feature. There's a lot of uh, restrictions on the size of a short bed truck. We've specifically designed this to fit with the tailgate closed on the unit. A really important feature of the sprayer is the GPS rate control system. So GPS rate control is when you put in a desired gallons per acre and the spray system automatically regulates your flow rate at your boom to match your desired rate. So as you accelerate, the amount of liquid coming out of the boom increases. As you decelerate, it decreases. When you stop, it stops. That way you're always applying the right amount of liquid. A very important feature to look at when you're looking at a liquid de-icing sprayer. Another really nice thing about the system is that it's completely wireless. So in order to install it in your truck, you literally you use the integrated fork pockets, set it in the truck, strap it down, and you're ready to go install takes less than five minutes. With that wireless technology is also smart connected control. So you can use your tablet or smartphone, Android and iOS, to run every feature and function on this spray system. Along with that smart connected app is also a wireless remote control for tactile feel. As you can see with the integrated skid frame, I mentioned the integrated fork pockets makes it very easy to set in and out of the truck. There are fork pockets on the front and on the side. Obviously for a unit in a pickup bed, we're gonna use the front ones, but for flatbed trucks, the side load is a nice option. We also have multiple different methods of securing the unit to the truck, including bolt down feet and multiple D-rings in order to strap or chain the unit down. The power plant for the Legacy Spray Systems is either a Honda or Kohler engine mounted to a two inch banjo poly pump. The reason we use this setup is because in order to get proper flow rates, to get the right amount of product down on the pavement, even at high speeds, we have to use something with enough horsepower to do that. The nice thing about the way we have this Honda and Kohler set up is that it is fully wirelessly controlled. It can be started from your smartphone connected app. It can be started from the remote control, throttle, choke. Everything can be operated wirelessly on the unit. We also talked about the three lane pile driver boom system. And again, the reason we're using a gas power plant on this unit is to appropriately feed that boom to spray up to 30 feet wide in a single pass. Another really nice feature of this unit is the electric rewind hose reel. So on this hose reel, we have a spray gun that has multiple different spray pattern options, including a fan and a jet stream that'll spray up to 25 feet. So let's say you're standing at the bottom of a set of stairs. Instead of having to climb all the way up the stairs, you can turn it into the jet stream, spray the stairs without having to climb up and down the stairs when they're icy. Some other really important high-end components on this sprayer are the flow meter and the proportioning valve. So we pride ourselves on quality with our VSI Legacy units. We're using the best flow meter and the best proportioning valve technology on the market. Our flow meters are magnetic, meaning that there's no moving parts inside of the flow meter. It uses magnetic sensors to, to track changes in flow rates instead of using a turbine like a typical flow meter uses. The problem with a turbine flow meter in a brine setting is that brine is both corrosive and abrasive. So anything that has bearings and moving parts is susceptible to failure. Another nice thing about our magnetic flow meter is that it automatically adjusts for changes in specific gravity. So if you're using a brine blend with more calcium chloride or more magnesium chloride, it's automatically adjusting for those different settings or those different uh, liquids that you're running in your sprayer. That's a really important feature because if we're gonna have automatic rate control, we wanna make sure it's accurate. Our proportioning valves 
are very beefy, well-built, ball-style valves. A lot of units on the market use what's called a butterfly valve, which are not built as heavy. We used them many years ago and found them to be a high failure point. So we moved to these high quality ball valve systems that have all stainless steel gearing and very large, powerful motors inside. Um, very reliable, very high quality components. Other really important features that are standard on our VSI Legacy sprayers are self-fill and pump out features. So this is important for if, let's say you have an on-site storage tank for your brine and you don't wanna to have to carry around an extra trash pump, the good news is with the VSI spray, you don't have to. Simply connect your hose to the two inch fitting, connect the other end of the hose to your storage tank, open the valve, start the engine, and the unit will start filling itself up. Likewise, with the pump out feature, let's say you have a larger spray truck and you wanna fill up your snow raider or your smaller spray truck, simply hook up to this upper valve with that same two inch cam lock hose, hook the other end up to whatever you're filling or, or put the uh, nozzle into the cap, Turn on the engine, open the valve, and you can start filling from your sprayer. Another good option for the pump out feature is, let's say it's the end of the season, you wanna pump out whatever's left in the system, you don't wanna flush it down the drain, you can pump it right back into a storage tank. As I mentioned, in addition to the smart connected app control of the spray unit, we do have the wireless remote control. So this is the wireless remote. It allows you to run all the major functions and features of this sprayer without having to put inputs on your smart connected device. Another nice use of this remote is it's very weatherproof. It's got the rubber case on it. So if you're taking it out to let's say run the engine for pump out or self fill or to rewind the hose reel, it's a lot nicer to bring the weatherproof remote out than to bring your smartphone or your tablet out of the truck. So that's a nice extra feature that we've added onto these sprayers to make it easier for you to use. I also mentioned the total control feature. So this box here contains actuators and those actuators are wired with stainless steel cables through conduit to the choke and throttle on the engines. Again, that may be a feature that doesn't seem like it's something you need necessarily, but what we have found is that you can save a lot of fuel and a lot of noise uh, without having to get out of the truck simply by having those controls. So let's say you spray a site, you're done, you're going to the next site. Instead of leaving the thing running wide open, full throttle, idle it down, that way you leave it running, you're not having to try to restart it when you get to the next site, but you can do that without having to get out of the truck. That also reduces liability for owners. Obviously, the more times guys get in and out of a truck, the more chance they could have to slip. So being able to stay in the truck with the wireless technology is a really big, big benefit. Another standard feature on our legacy spray systems is the strobe and work light package. So here we have strobes and work lights that are IP67 rated meaning they're made to be out in the elements, meaning they're made for the type of work that we're doing. These are very high quality, very bright quality work lights and strobe lights. And that's a standard feature on all of our VSI Legacy sprayers. In order to run the three lane spray boom on the VSI Legacy sprayer, we have three independent boom section control valves. So as we talked about with the Legacy pile driver spray boom, we do have three spray booms spraying up to 30 feet wide. But of course, there's many situations in which we cannot afford to spray 30 feet wide because we don't have that much space. The beauty of three separate boom section control valves is we can run any combination of spray booms uh, at any time. So let's say we're in a wide open lot, we're spraying 30 feet wide, there's a car coming up on the left. We can turn off the left boom section control valve, that'll kick off the left side, now we're only spraying 20 feet. The car goes by, we turn that back on, we're back to spraying 30 feet. Let's also say that we're only spraying single lanes, we're pre-treating lanes and there's cars on either side, we can just run the center boom. Or another scenario, let's say we have a sidewalk on our right, we can turn on just the right boom section control valve, spray off the right side of the truck and spray up onto that sidewalk without having to get out of the truck. It's a really nice feature to save labor and it really helps you up your production rate and get a lot more work done a lot more quickly. Because these systems are wireless, we need to ensure optimal battery health at all times to make sure the system is working perfectly when you're out in the middle of the night and you can't afford failure. So the engines on these sprayers do have a built-in charging system but in addition to that, we have provided an onboard NOCO battery tender charger. So that's mounted right here with a very convenient plug right here that you can plug in an extension cord and easily maintain your battery. Because that's an automatic battery tender, it's okay to leave it plugged in all the time when you're not using it. It'll keep your battery in optimal health and fully charged at all times. Another feature that we have is what's called an emergency backup harness. So you may be concerned if this is a wireless spray unit, and it's two in the morning and something fails. My wireless technology is not working or my battery goes dead or maybe a fuse blows, you don't have an extra fuse with. We've thought of a solution for that too. So with your wireless remote control, we do provide what's called an emergency backup harness. If you get in a situation where nothing else works and you just need to finish your spray route, you can take the bottom plug off of this remote, use the provided emergency backup harness to plug into here, plug into the back of the computer box there 
and then run that into the cab of the truck through the back window or through the door. That will then plug into the cigarette lighter, which will provide auxiliary power to run the spray system until you can get back to home base and fix whatever the problem is. Again, we understand in the snow business that you don't have the luxury necessarily of, of having extra time. So we're trying to provide solutions that if you get in a jam, you can still get your work done. And that's what the emergency backup harness does. Again, because this system is wireless, we have an antenna built into the system so that you get an optimal signal. So obviously on a truck like this, uh, it's a fairly short truck with a, a clear line of sight to the driver. So there's not gonna be any signal concerns or issues here. However, as you'll see, we have this standard antenna kit, which comes on an extension cable. This comes with every sprayer. So if you're on a larger truck, you can actually run this cable. It's, it's 20 feet long. You can actually run it to the front of the truck and this is a magnetic mount. Now, if you're sticking it to something that you don't want a magnet on, like the paint of your truck, or if your truck body is aluminum or stainless steel, we have a solution for that too. The kit includes a mild steel plate with double-sided uh, quick release tape that you can stick to whatever stainless aluminum or painted surface you want. That will allow the magnet to stick to that so it doesn't damage your paint and to allow you to stick to surfaces that are not magnetic. Other options include self-tapping screws and you can, adhere, uh, you can adhere this directly to whatever, wherever you want to mount it. The key is having proper signal is key to success with a wireless system. So we want to get that antenna as close to the operator as possible. Some other things we've done with these units is we use poly flanged fittings. So flanged fittings are unique in that you don't see them on a typical plumbing setup, but they're really nice in the fact that if, let's say one of your operators accidentally pulls away with the hose hooked up to this fitting and it breaks the fitting, unlike threaded fittings, you're not gonna have to take the whole thing apart. You're simply gonna take apart the two halves by loosening one clamp, put the new piece in, tighten the clamp back down, and you're good to go. We've made these very easy to service and very easy to service even in the field if you need to. Another nice feature with our VSI Legacy lineup is that whether you have a 305 or our largest 1600 gallon sprayer, it's a purely modular system, meaning that the plumbing, hose reel, electronics, engine, everything is identical from our smallest possible size to the largest. So if your staff is trained in on the smallest size, they can also run the largest one. Another nice thing about this feature is that let's say in the future you wanted to upgrade this to a larger size tank, you could simply remove the 305 tank, purchase a tank and cradle, bolt it onto this base, and increase the size of your sprayer without having to buy an entire new unit. So that's been an overview of our VSI Legacy Spray Systems. We'd love to chat with you more about our systems and liquid de-icing and how it can benefit your business. So please reach out and we'd love to talk to you today.